Okay, this. Okay, what is the challenge about? Well, there are three questions that you can ask yourself. What, how are the close contacts found? How is the coordination between the primary care centers, scouts and system? How is a sick with or without symptoms person monitored? Slide. Okay, what is the challenge about? Well, this is the scheme more or less of how the close contacts are found. Well, the first thing is that a person with symptoms, okay, I have, I, I'm, I'm sick. So he, she called to the primary center. Let me take it that out. And then the professional say, okay, you say, you should stay home. Okay, stay home and then go to do a PCR test on the primary center, care center. And then once you get the, the test, it may be positive, positive. What is, what then is done uh, with this positive result. Okay, there is a person called gestor COVID in the primary center ca uh, care center. It takes care of, okay, you are positive, please let me know what are your close contacts, uh, usually familiar, maybe school, whatever. So if they are close to the primary care centers, already they program the, the PCR, and they, they call them to do the PCR, but also introduce all this information in the system, okay? So this system take care of all the, con uh, all the close contacts. What is going on with these close contacts in the system? Okay, two or three days after, there are some people called scouts, maybe you have listened about them. These scouts take care of all the close contacts, maybe close to the primary care uh, center, or maybe not. So they again, call to everybody saying, oh, you are a close contact. So uh, please take care, stay, stay at home, and then go to, the, uh, to do a PCR test uh, to the primary care center that is close to your, to your place. So it's late, please. What happens then? Well, what happens is that maybe a person received a call from the gestor COVID because he was in the same primary care center of the first person with the symptoms, symptoms and positive. Then the scouts call again, and maybe the system has an automatic way to send SMS. So three contacts to the same people, to the same person. Also, it may happen that gestor COVID has a lot of cases. So maybe it is not in time to, all, to do all the contact uh, to the close contacts. And of course, sometimes, depending on the place or the country, there are different languages. So the gesture of COVID should call to people that maybe only speak Chinese, maybe speak Urdu, which is the Pakistan uh, language. Slide. So this was for the content and the coordination. What happens when you have a sick person, maybe with or without symptoms? They are isolated. What's going on then? Well, they monitor them. So they have to call them after some days. Then they say, hey, are you okay? Okay, fine. Uh, then after so few days more, are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, that's great. So uh, you have the cream flag and then you can go. Oh no, you have symptoms. Wait, wait, just stay home. Maybe you are doing online classes in the campus, maybe. Or, or you have some symptoms and this is not good. Go to the hospital. But in any case, there are many, many cases where they are asymptomatic and they are not, they are fine. So a slide, can you pass? Okay. So sometimes these cases, uh, they don't need a personal uh, take care. I mean, they, they can be automatically uh, monitored because then the person, the professionals, the nurse, and also the gestor COVID can take care of the people that or they, they need this, uh, this personally, and uh, call and so on. So can we help in this? Can we then give them more time to try to take care about the people that they need? And also the non-COVID people, they are sick. They need to take care of them as well. So slide. So how, how can we help to primary health care? Can we help Hester COVID when she, she is saturated with a lot of cases? Maybe you can think in a chatbot that try to get, to obtain the contacts, the close contacts with different languages. I don't know. Uh, what, we can do an automatic monitoring of the isolated people that are fine. I mean, 
If they are fine, we only need to say, okay, are you fine? Yes, okay, keep going. Are you fine? Yes, okay, 10 days you go. But, oh, you are not fine. So please, alert. you can advise uh, one, the people in the primary care center say, hey, hey, be careful. So then they switch up from the automatic things and go to the, to the uh, personality thing, okay? And finally, as you can see, maybe there are some different coordinations. So can we create something integrated with the professionals of the primary care centers that can program the PCR, control the state anytime, but automatically say, okay, now we have a lot of cases, we can go automatically. Oh no, we, are, we don't have so many cases, we can go personally. So this is the, the challenge for, the, for today. You can try to help them to spend time for the people that they need. Okay, thanks and good luck.